Hey Nina, Matt, this is James over at Realty Candy. I just want to show you, um, yeah, how do you like my mirror? That's almost Santa Fe. That's from uh, Pasqua, Mexico, I think is where it's, no, it's Pasqua, Pascuaro, Mexico, down in Michoacan. I bought that for my wife about 20 years ago. Um, so anyway, um, here's, uh, let me just show you how do you make these community pages. So we were talking about this. Some of this data doesn't come through uh, the MLS correctly or in as much detail, I guess you could say. So you do have the option to make these save links um, with IDX Broker. And I'm just gonna create a link here. And I can make a polygon search so if i wanted to come in here and say um again I, i'm a little santa fe ignorant but let's say that that this is an area here south of the park i can come in here and say here's i want to kind of come up here so i make sure i get the edge of the park i come down here Okay, so that closes it. I click back on the initial area. So and I can put in the prices. And again, we were saying we, we wanna show properties between 500. I'm gonna sort by the newest listings. And so we can call this um, South Park Area Homes. I can write in a meta description here, you know, whatever I want Google to see. Google doesn't really use keywords too much. And then I'm just going to put this as a test. Um, here at the top, I could actually write in some information. This is where we are actually loading the data on some of these other ones. South Park is a great neighborhood. Uh, you know, blah, 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 blah. Um, that's it. So, I mean, I don't know how long that took. That took like a minute or something. But I need to erase this word grace. Then what you have is you have a link here that's South Park Area Homes. In this case, you know, there's, there's no results. Um, I guess I, I made it too small, but let me make one more real quick. So create a new link. Um, and I'm just, I noticed kind of the areas that you folks were using on your maps. Let's see if I can get over here. So let's say I'm just taking, now I'm gonna get kind of big and chunky here, but so we can get some results. So I just say, okay, we want from here to here to here. Uh, and I'm gonna eliminate some of this stuff. So this is the big test. And I put in any information here. Okay. So let's see. So now this is kicking out. Um, this is actually your listing here. This is showing at the top. And you can see that it's, it's given us this kind of a map and it's kicking out the results like that. So um, those, those are really fast to make. I would recommend that if, if you do this, this is one of the key things to getting good content on your site is having these types of neighborhood pages that nobody else has. Nobody else in your MLS is gonna be, be able to have these. And it becomes a big competitive advantage because then when we come over here on the east side, we can put this and we can put big test here and we can put south park here and north park here and you know east park here or whatever these um, these breakouts were that you know at Adelia Hills and the foothills and 225 Canyon and Amelia White and uh, you know East Side Historic and all that kind of stuff. If you made those and there's a hundred of them on that sheet probably, but you can see that you can make them in a couple minutes or something. 
they could add a lot of value to your to your project. Um, but it'd be something that you folks really would need to make. And, you know, you'd, it'd have to be in some ways just an estimate, because if you get too hung up on it, you can see how it'd just be a, you know, just a pain to go in and really get the zooms down. But you can zoom those in pretty tight. Um, and I don't know if we can even, I don't think you can modify these. Uh, well, maybe you can, I don't know. I don't think you can, but um, let me look at one more real quick. Sorry about that. So you go here to website, save links. I'm actually gonna look at that. So I put polygon standard results. Again, let's look at, you know, this This seems to be more the area that, that you're working in. You know, if you say that this is, you know, Adela Hills, for example, right here, you say, well, it includes this one, but that big house right there is actually you know part of another subdivision and these houses you know you can kind of sorry you can kind of click around these and say well we do want that house but not those other ones and come down to the street and this isn't this isn't something that you want to get you know take to an attorney or anything like this this is not a survey of this area but you can get pretty specific in here. And then you've got, um, you know, a general idea of if any of these homes come for sale, you're gonna have it on your thing in the breakdown. I would consider doing that. I think it would add a lot of value, but that's up to you folks to determine. We'll talk to you later, bye-bye.